an explosion at Union Pacific's Bailey Yard in North Platte. This is video Kel Stout of North Platte live streamed on Facebook. Here we can see white and rust color smoke coming from several cars that caught fire. We now know they were hauling the highly flammable toxic chemical perchloric acid. Residents within a four mile radius of the explosion were asked to evacuate. Since then, the evacuation order has been lifted. As of 515, Union Pacific officials say the fire was out and normal rail operations were beginning to resume. Now with more on that toxic chemical, which is sometimes used to make explosives. Here's an interview from one of our earlier broadcasts tonight. And uh, it is even stronger than sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. So you know how, uh, how reactive it is going to be. So it is also a very strong oxidizing agent. So breathing or inhaling it is not going to be um, uh, is not going to be good health wise. Can you take me through the steps of the molecules now here? I'm just going to ask. So it's in the mm -hmm. smoke right now. Is it just going to dissipate? What would happen if it rains? So if it rains, it's just going to get diluted. OK, but even before that, um, as, as, as a chemist, we know that it's a very reactive substance. So it is going to react with anything and everything that sees in its, in its path. So if you have metals, it reacts with metals, it corrodes metals. If it sees any organic matter, it is going to react and oxidize organic matter. So it is most likely not going to be very stable. By the time, like, you know, if you give it enough time, it's going to um, pretty much decompose or react to become something else. But the products of those reactions are also not very, um, very benign. So to the most part, we are dealing with a substance that is going to either be very toxic itself or is going to produce toxic um, products. Okay, you kind of touched on this, but how long is this a danger? Oh, that it's it's hard to say because it depends on the concentration and what are the substances it has been in contact with. Okay. Uh, but as I said, it's very reactive, so it is not going to stay in its actual form for too long. If it rains, and it seeps mm -hmm. into the ground, do we have to mm -hmm. worry about any type of contamination there and the aquifer, or are we getting too far ahead of ourselves? I think, yeah, so it, it depends on what kind of contamination measures have been taken, because uh, typically the perchloric acid spills are treated with um, uh, like you know, a neutralizing agent. So if it is neutralized well ahead of time or within a, a certain amount of time, then the, uh, the toxicity is not a concern for a long term. But if it is not, then the soil contamination is going to definitely uh, affect anything that grows in it, and it is going to be a problem. But it is not like a like like not like barium or any of the lead, any of these toxic metals which stay in the atmosphere for a long term. Uh, uh, perchloric acid is not going to be that much of a concern in a really long term uh, basis. Do you, do you know what this chemical is usually used for? Yeah, so predominantly it's used as a rocket fuel. So perchloric acid is used to convert into a salt form like ammonium perchlorate, which is a very strong oxidizing agent. When it's mixed with aluminum, it's a very powerful uh, rocket fuel. And as you mentioned, it, uh, it can also be used as a, uh, for preparing explosives. It's used in the electroplating uh, industry for electroplating. In fact, one of the largest known uh, accidents was uh, in Los Angeles in 1947. So there was a huge explosion because of like, you know, um, because of the knowledge, lack of knowledge we had about uh, about the use of perchlorates, and there was a small incident that led to that. Uh, so that, those are one of the main uh, main uses, but rocket fuel is probably the, the one that comes to my mind right away. Is there anything else you think our viewers need to know about this chemical? Just about 10 minutes ago, our reporter on scene said she's still seeing black smoke from the site of the explosion. Right, so that's what, so it's a very strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes everything, so the plumes and the fumes you're seeing is essentially a reaction of the, of the perchloric acid with these materials. Perchloric acid by itself doesn't really have color and it doesn't have really strong smell, but when it reacts with something, it emanates these fumes. And uh, in terms of, uh, I tell my students when I teach organic chemistry that structure is very important. So perchloric acid is a molecule that has chlorine in the middle with a lot of oxygen it doesn't really want to have. So it is trying to get rid of the oxygen, which is a process of the reaction that like you know, we are seeing uh, in, in the way it manifests as fumes and and um, uh, and smoke.